<laughs> well, David Russell at oh, one David point. David Russell. He said his name. Well, He's a guy. Hey, there, bro. David Russell. I'm gonna say your ass on posting clips of this channel because I don't want three copyright strikes at once. You can post everybody's and everything like that. I'm just saying, don't play with one fucking channel. Zapped. Everybody, welcome back to the world as we know it. We got David Russell. Who is David Russell? That's what we got going on today, guys. David Russell, man. So from from my educated guess on who David Russell is, I'm gonna go ahead and say that it is a no jumper employee. And basically, I'm gonna go through why I think this, why I took this educated guess on who David Russell is. And you guys can comment. Everybody comment. Let us know what you guys think. And let's see who David Russell is. You guys comment, say who you think is. We'll add up scores or whatever. And we'll see what everybody thinks. My guess. I think it's someone that works at No Jumper, obviously, but I think either Adam is behind it or somebody that knows how to work the edits and knows how to edit video. Someone who's actually really, really good at it and someone who would get paid to do, you know, how to do it. But, you know what I'm saying? In this video, we're going to go through why I feel this way. So, let's get to it. So the mystery of David Russell. David Russell started out as a YouTube channel. Seven months ago, it posted a video saying that Sharp got pressed by King Croc. And then it had a couple more videos months ago. And then all of a sudden, I would say about a month ago, it just started posting clips of No Jumper. As you can see, Kiki speaks on liking Riley from No Jumper's pics on Instagram. Kiki says Yuri, blah, blah, blah. Basically, all the the no jumper drama this david russell account started posting clips and he was wording them crazy like this happened this that, and then you know it, the, some of the clips started blowing up some of the clips got fifty thousand views like i think the highest might be like eighty thousand views or something like that but some of them started blowing up and becoming real big now um a lot of it was the no jumper drama everything going on with kiki not being there anymore kiki and your going back and forth um pot lord being fired just everything that was going on with no jumper at the time but nobody knows who david russell is but what kind of gives it away is that david russell's thumbnails are very very good and they look similar to no jumper thumbnails so obviously someone could recreate that and read but it would have to be someone that's really talented in video editing because i'm a youtuber i do video edits and I would say the person is just a little bit better than me. I can create some stuff. I don't have all the tools, all the stuff that I need to buy. I still got to invest in myself and buy cameras. I need to buy a better computer and stuff, you know. But you can just tell that this person knows what they're doing. So as you can see here, I'll show some of the stuff that you can see basically how good the person is at thumbnails and editing. See, so here's a thumbnail they created right here with T-Rail, Pot Lord, and you can just tell it's kind of like like looks like the same style as no jumper and the final video that david russell did with the like circle sw swinging around and it catches like the d and the no jumper and the pop-up like that someone whoever created that was very very talented and also a few of the videos he made he like put a f no jumper on kiki's wall put a Riley picture like to do all that that and then have it like make it look like it's on the wall like parent like not just putting it straight on it made it like go with the wall that is like talent like that is talent talent like someone who knows how to do stuff like that should be making a lot of money doing YouTube edits and YouTube videos so that basically is what gives it away that it is somebody that works for no jumper so yeah i'm gonna have to say you gotta think adam's not dumb he's smart so i think it's adam's behind it adam is having either someone else create the david russell so that all the because a lot of people's been getting fired from no jumper and new people are coming in and i feel like this is adam's way of getting it out to the public but not looking messy on his own channel and other people don't really understand what's going on or wouldn't create a channel like this. So I feel like he's behind it. He created it so he can get this narrative out on what's going on. And I also think Adam owns the pop-up. 
I think I think he owns the pop-up. He owns the pop-up. He's having Kiki create his own. So that way, you know, if people feel like no jumper, you know, is a culture vulture and they don't want to come and talk to him, then he can get people to come talk on Kiki's platform that wouldn't come talk on his necessarily. And then they would feel like rebels against no jumper, but really he owns the pop-up. So really he's smart enough to where it's like, oh, you don't think like, you know what I'm saying? You, if you're smart, you would know, you know? So that's what it is. You think, oh, I'm going to Kiki's. I'm about to go. Ah, uh, well, joke's on you because Adam22 owns the pop-up as well. So that's what I think. That's my narrative. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And I'm out. Gang or...